What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has recently announced a list of devices which are eligible for Samsung One UI 2.5 update and this list included Galaxy Note 9 as well. And we can see Samsung's commitment to offer the best software experience for their customers. I'm so glad to see Galaxy Note 9 on the list and Note 10 series was anyways expected to get it since it's the predecessor of this year's flagship. So in this video, let's check out all those cool new features on One UI 2.5, which is expected to come to Galaxy Note 9 and 10. If you are new here and if you love Samsung phones, consider hitting that subscribe button and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, now let's begin with the first major overhaul to the camera app, or I would say an important set of new features for camera application. We get this all new pro video mode, which can be dragged and added to the slider. This pro video mode brings in some additional information on the screen. If you are someone into creating some cinematic videos, you can use this mode to the fullest. Now you can see the volume unit meter on the top which shows the current volume levels and a histogram meter to assist you in figuring out the distribution of light in the scene. When you press and hold on the screen, AE and AF lock pops up which can lock your focus and exposure settings. There is another cool function which allows you to capture the audio from different directions. When you hit the microphone button, you will get different options like Omni, which captures sound from all directions. We've got front, rear, etc. And also you can select Bluetooth option if the sound is coming through any Bluetooth device like your earbuds. Amazing, isn't it? Then we have separate button for zoom. This offers a very smooth zoom in and zoom out experience, which enables accurate autofocus as well. Next one is using gestures on third-party launchers. This is a long-awaited feature on One UI. Gestures were not supported on third-party applications, but now Samsung has given the solution, but not quite flawless, I would say. I did try the gestures on Nova launcher and CPL launchers. It was buggy and sometimes didn't work. Anyways, if you need it so badly, you can have 100 Operation Plus for gestures support on third-party launcher. I have already made a separate video on that. You can watch it by hitting the link in the description. The next one is sharing YouTube links straight from the keyboard. When you hit the three dots on the keyboard, you will be able to see YouTube button integrated into this keyboard, which is fantastic. You can search the video you want and share the link to the selected contact. You can even watch the video before sending it. Cool feature, isn't it? All right, let's go to the next one. The next one is wireless decks. This is something really interesting. It would be great if this lands on Galaxy Note 9, but I'm not sure how many of you are going to use it on TV. And on some of the TVs, it's just hard to connect. With this Note 20 Ultra, I'm still trying to figure out a way to connect to my Sony Bravia Android TV. Anyways, if you get this feature, you can use it. This was one of the exciting features which was showcased during the launch of Note 20 series and getting it so soon on Note 10 and Note 9 and few other Samsung phones is really great. Next one is an update to the Galaxy Note application which we have already received on Note 9 and Note 10. I was expecting these Samsung Note app features to come along with One UI 2.5 but surprisingly we have received this update already on the application. I have made a detailed video on Samsung Note app update so go ahead and hit the link in the description to watch that video. The last important feature is related to Wi-Fi networks. Now we get to see the Wi-Fi network quality and speed information when you select a particular network which is really useful. The other feature is requesting the Wi-Fi password from another person on Galaxy device if he is on your contact list. It's really nice to see getting some cool features every time we get One UI update and kudos to Samsung for considering even Note 9 to get this update. Hope they release it soon and hope they offer all the features available on Note 20 series of devices. Once I get an update, I will make a video and let you know the features included for Note 9 since I have this device with me. Alright, that's about it. Leave a like if you find this video useful and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys stay safe and take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.